We're back at it, guys. Uh, so real quick, video is not going to be as good today because it's just me. Uh, we don't have the fellas with us. Um, and as you saw in one of the previous videos that we were working on, Leah, we got the strobe lights up top mounted. Those are good to go. Uh, this morning, I mounted the two uh, spotlights, which that style LED pod, it is, it is a spotlight. I had those on the front of the dually. Uh, and we also got our uh, rear fender flares mounted with the LED in them. So right now, now what I'm going to do is I've got new LEDs for up here. Uh, I wired these wrong. So these actually only running lights and brake lights. I don't have, I don't have turn signals. And I also picked up some white LEDs. So I'm going to actually switch over to uh, these right here. These have a lot more diodes in them. And then let's see if I can find the other ones. And then I picked up some white ones so we can have backup lights in the rack as well. Just regular ones that come on with our LED reverse lights in the housing. And then our LED pods that are underneath the bumper. Um, then I'm going to do the the small cubes right there. Those, those are going to come off. But the bigger ones, the floods, that one there, the one on the side, i got to put the third one back on. Uh, those are going to be on a toggle switch, which go... Right up in our overhead console. Right there. Those are really nice, clean, flush mounted. And then right there you can see we got our selector and then our power switch for the strobes. So I'm going to strip everything, tear it down, and then uh, I'm going to catch up with you guys afterwards. Um, like the previous wiring video that I did, I'm not going to do a whole lot of time lapse because one, I'm going to be in the way, two, you're not going to be able to see it, and three, well, that's just boring, so let me catch up with okay, you. Okay, so quick break in. We have the, uh, we got the toolbox light here uh, wired up. We got our first set, our turn signal brake and running, and our reverse light there. Everything's loomed. Got our connections there coming out of the toolbox. And right there. So now we are... There's just really no good way to do this. Anyway, we're going across now. I had to send the lovely wife out to go get uh, another spool of wire for the trailer lights, but, well, I'm wearing it like trailer lights, so. But anyway, quick jump in. I gotta keep going, I'm running out of time and daylight, so I'll catch up with you guys again. Well, as you can see, it's dark. We got uh, everything up here set up. We got our we got our loom right here. Uh, I've already done a function test on it. The only thing that didn't work is the uh, that light up there. Obviously, I haven't gotten this side wired up, but across the rack, everything's done. Um, I do need to finish. Uh, you can't see. I got to finish zip tying everything up up there. But I will set up the man. That really kicks out the rust. <laughs> um, but I will set you guys up on the tripod. And uh, I'll go through the lights, that way you can see them. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's pretty neat. So, let me set you up real quick. Oh, yeah, and we got, we got our lead right here for the floodlight that'll be sitting up here. So, let me set it up real quick for you. days later we're done that was a lot of fun but it turned out pretty good mm -hmm. everything
thing functioning like it should. The uh, the backup lights do work too. Let me uh, cover up the sensor while we talk real quick. Oh goodness. Since you covered up. So just to recap, so we got the strobes hooked up, we got the turn sig we got well turn signal, brake light, running light there on the rack wired up. We got these done up properly. Uh, and we got the nah, two LED reverse lights there. I have everything ran um, to do the spotlight there, the spotlight there. I got to remount the other one there because the bracket is broken. Um, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much about it. Um, I do have everything ran for the spotlights up there, and I did test them out. They do work killer. Um, I threw those up there because my plow lights aren't the greatest. Uh, for those of you, God damn, man, I'm, out, I'm fat and out of shape. Uh, for anyway, for those of you that don't know, I have a 7.6 Western uh, Unimount that I run. Um, but if you look at the front of the truck, that's an Ultra Mount mount. And we have an adapter on there now. In some of the upcoming videos, you will see I'll, I'll be working on that. Uh, I'll be working on that plow. I got to service the plow. I still have to service the truck. I still have to get the power steering line. And the pump on there which everything is over at my mother-in-law's and when i say everything i mean the plow so i think i might take it over there uh use her barn because mine's a little tied up and service truck change out the wheels and tires get the plow hooked up bring everything home and let's see yep there we go so those are on they work killer um, I, my apologies to my lovely neighbors. That's their bedroom right there. And it doesn't matter how I park this thing. As soon as I hit that unlock button, man, it's, it's like a collapsed sun. But we did get the, uh, the fender flares on there too. And, you know, for the way that this thing's coming together, you know, a lot of people might be down in the comments and going, Ray, that thing is a whole level of high school clapped out, yee yee. I mean, yeah, everybody's having a good time. Uh, honestly, this isn't this isn't my nice truck. Um, this this truck is meant for winter time. It's learn how to walk. It's meant to function. Don't don't walk across rutted areas and mandals. Break a damn neck. Ankle, ankle. I said ankle. But anyway, this truck's meant to do a job, and it does it well. It doesn't look the greatest doing it, but you know what? The damn thing functions, and that's, at the end of the day, all that I care about. But also, my truck. So, anyway, I quit rambling. There wasn't a whole lot of action in this anyway. I did get my ass kicked by doing this. And we also went through about 10,000 zip ties. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, plenty more clapped out shitbox stuff to come. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to clean up some leaves, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Be good, guys.